the Regis mural is a commission piece that I really enjoyed creating. Um, it's the story of the history of the Jesuits and the arts, which is extremely rich. It's full of, of wonderful artists, and composers, theater people, writers, poets. Um, we're talking about really the, the breadth, breadth of the entire Jesuit history since uh, their founda foundation. It was such a complex assignment, you know, a, a commission to create the entire realm of artistic merit of the Jesuits right. through history was, was really daunting, but I, I started to read a little bit about how that occurred and how it, how it sort of flew out of Ignatius himself right. and, you know, his artistic sensibility and, and the early founders um, and their artistic sensibility. So that it was always a part of, it seemed, the, the agenda of Ignatius to teach and to philosophize with the aid of, of artwork and iconography. So it was really a, a great starting point for me. When I was conceiving the, the idea, I knew that this was really challenging because it was on a curve and it's based on this 50 foot arch that um, is the front part of the theater. So I, I loved the concept of that curve and what I could do with it. But it was challenging because there's no way to, you know, stretch a canvas on a curve like that. It's very difficult. It would, it would be almost impossible. But I realized that I could do this in panels and work in my studio in Boston and then work in sections. So I worked in three different sections. I started with this third with um, Spain and China and South America. And then I went into the next third, Europe, and then the final third, which is North America. One of the important artists to me has always been uh, Antonio Gaudí, who's a Spanish artist who worked with amorphous shapes and forms. And since I'm sort of a painter and a sculptor, I really wanted to, you know, use and play off of that, that large 50 foot curve. The way I designed the, the flow of the piece was really, it had to read historically. And so I wanted to include all the continents. Mm -hmm. And I, I really felt like, you know, telling the story from the very beginning and then sort of blending in the, the landscape and the churches and the, and the whole history of the flow of the Jesuits. I think the Jesuits have always, to me, been the intellectuals. You know, they're, they're really as much theologians as they are um, world thinkers. And so I've always, you know, been, a, I've always admired the, the work of the Jesuits and their politics and in their thought provoking um, way that they, they lead. Right. So, you know, to me, it was, it was just knowing enough about how the Jesuits um, historically have operated. So that, that excited me. Over here, these are other artists and uh, other very important Jesuit and um, non-Jesuit artists. And again, all the churches, this, this represents not only Italy, but it represents France and Belgium and Austria and other areas of that European continent. Probably my favorite part of the mural is the centerpiece, the dome the, of the Jesu, because that to me is an axis that everything else feeds off of. And actually for the church, it's also symbolic because that, that is their right. axis. And that's where the seat of the Jesuits really, really was um, focused. So, so for me, the, the whole mural kind of centers on that piece, and that's a hinge point for the whole mural. All of the figures that I've been adding in 3D, and also some of the ones that are painted, those were all important right. musicians, painters, poets, um, writers, 
in the Jesuit realm, theater people. Um, and so each of those has some connection to the landscape itself. So that like in um, China, for instance, Castiglione was really instrumental in uh, bringing visualization to that country and to that continent. There's a lot of things going on in this mural and they're not on the same plane. There's a lot of aerial imagery. There's there's skewed perspective of some of the churches. There's um, dramatic uh, elements that are taking off and falling into place in different areas. There's a there's a sense of of space that I was really trying to conquer, and I think that makes it really engaging for the viewer because then they they can imagine themselves in in these different areas um, and they can imagine themselves floating above this piece which is you know one of the things that I was hoping to achieve right. my, I, my idea was really to get this feeling of of um, sort of a an overview that that the viewer can can fall into and um, so that that was also really exciting for me well, one thing I really love is bringing this to life so that mm -hmm. It's not just a history painting, but it's it's really full of the moment. You know, there's a lot of birds flying in, and there's there's things happening throughout the piece that keeps it alive. You know, it's not it's not a stagnant piece of art, and I didn't want it to be. I wanted to, to have a feeling of, of real energy and life. I think my favorite part of this whole process has just been the the scale of the. The piece, you know, it's so huge and it's 45 feet long by right. 10, 11 feet high. And sort of the freedom that I had to come up with my own vision, that really appealed to me because I love the creative process and kind of the organic way that I, that I painted this piece in my studio. I'm just very proud to have the piece here and honored to have been able to produce it. And, you know, I think that it'll, through the generations, It'll teach you know, young students uh, about the Jesuits and keep that part of it in focus. And, you know, hopefully they'll have to fly me out to add artists as time goes on.